in, in short, what we'd like to do is request your support to change the legal occupancy of this building. Currently, right now, the occupancy is uh, restaurant use would take out function hall, office space, and 12 residential units. What we'd like to do is go revert back to how the building was back in the 1970s where it was this, the restaurant, elimination of the function hall, and 16 residential units. So portion of the restaurant will be made. Um, so this occupancy change only affects the second floor. I did present to you a uh, floor plan for the entire building. Here's copies of the second floor floor plan for everybody. I think it would be easy for everybody to follow on with that little sheet the floor plan for the second floor. The occupancy affects that. Um, so, in short, like I said, we'd like to revert back to what this once was, which was the restaurant and it's a 16 residential units. On this second floor, we'd like to create four residential units. There will be, um, I'll wait a minute for everybody to. Uh, well, you did have a two on, something called the spellman's name, so you have the correct two yeah. minutes. Uh, C-A-R-A. B as a boy, O O L A D. Perfect. Tom? Thank you. Madam President, uh, before I proceed, uh, what you have, what I presented to you is a uh, neighborhood notification letter that went out to the all the abutters. Uh, it was the neighborhood was posted on 621 2011. And if I can go over the boundaries with you, if that's okay. Um, if not, I'll skip it. Okay, right okay, the boundaries that the abutters included North Washington Street, um, Thatcher Street from North Washington to Endicott Street, Stillman Place, uh, Cooper Street from North Washington Street to North Monday Street, Endicott Street from Thatcher Street to Stillman. So kind of, and of course, the elderly building, which is located at 130 Endicott Street, which is, would be mostly affected by it. Um, so that, that was posted um, by flyer on the 21st of June. Um, also, you have in your records is the copy of the denial letter, the application for appeal, and our zoning board of appeals hearing date notice, which is tomorrow at 9.30 at uh, Boston City Hall, uh, room 801. So getting back to the plans, what we'd like to do is create, go back to what it once was, four units in that function hall, and take a portion of that kitchen two bedroom unit and three one bedroom units. Um, the plan is to sell those units as luxury condominiums. The two bedroom units is approximately 1,222 square feet. And as you'll notice, all the units are of great size over what the, the BRA usually likes to see in terms of a one bedroom, or two bedroom unit. So you're the, saying one two bedroom and three one bedroom? Yes, one two bedroom and three one bedroom unit. The two bedroom unit is 1,222 square feet. The one bedrooms range from 994, 994 square feet to 1,077 square feet. And you can see which units uh, have the, the square footage on your, your floor plan. There is, of course, two means of egress. The, there's one means of egress, which has always been utilized for the residents, which is the, on Lynn Street, which is, has the elevator and the stairs that go all the way up. The new, it did well. Once we uh, get approval, hopefully, the new entrance to this uh, residential unit is going to be the entrance into Techie's restaurant. And at some point, we, the company will figure out how to configure the entrance into the restaurant and entrance into the, the residential unit. Uh, for those who are familiar with Techie's restaurant going up to the function hall, as you enter North Washington Street entrance, you have the stairs right in front of you that take you up to the function hall. Those stairs are going to be utilized for the new residential units and the residential units throughout the entire building. As of right now, the stair, existing stairs that go all the way up, but however, most of us get to the function hall and we don't proceed any, any further, okay? But there are stairs that are existing stairs that go up. Okay. Beyond the function hall? Yes, there's existing stairs. So, in regards to construction, the entire all the units, all six, uh, as of right now, uh, all 12 residential units will be gutted up, well, not necessarily gutted up, but will, will be remodeled. Okay, so they, they will, they're gonna be remodeled every unit in that particular location. Now, this building encompasses, there's a number of buildings, but we're just focusing on 55 and 57 North Washington 
Street, which is really the stucco portion of that building and the restaurant. And we do have some plans not finalized yet. There are some plans that are going to be for the existing other buildings. There's buildings that are on Cooper Street that are owned by this company on Lynn Street and another one that's on North Washington Street. Plans haven't been developed for that particular location, but once they are, we'll, we'll have to come before the board. In regards to this particular project, we anticipate that full renovations will take will be complete within about six month time period. Um, we anticipate putting a dumpster in the front of North Washington Street. That dumpster will not remain there for the entire project. The dumpster is going to be removed, so we don't take any we don't affect any traffic. And well, there's no residential parking spots at that particular location, but we don't just, uh, affect any valet parking associated with the restaurant. So that, that uh, dumpster will be removed so it doesn't affect the neighborhood's quality of life. In regards to what we've heard in talking to some of the neighbors, uh, the valet, that is a, a lot of, one of the biggest zones that we have in the neighborhood in regards to the valet parking. What we hope to anticipate at some time down in the future, when this project is completely done, there's gonna be some portion of that building that houses the restaurant, Tetchy's restaurant. How big and small it is, we haven't determined that yet. But there's our goal that we're hoping to decrease the size of that valet zone and create, hopefully, the intention is to create a residential parking spot, whether it's one, whether it's two, as many as we can, because we know how valuable residential parking spots are in the neighborhood. The second issue that has come up, uh, talking with the butters, the butters, is the condensers that are on the roof. That basically, we're not going to add anything else. We're going to be removing some of them on Lynn Street. There's a one-story building that houses some of all these condensers. Since we're going to be eliminating the function hall, there's no need to have all these condenser units. So some of them will be taken out. The others will be updated and, and, and smaller. So there will be less, hopefully, less noise or congestion on that particular roof. How many are there? I don't know exactly how many they are. I couldn't tell you exactly, but uh, between the, some of the big ones and the small ones, there's got to be at least a dozen. Okay, so how many do you anticipate taking out? Pardon? How many do you anticipate taking out? Um, we're going to consolidate uh, some of those into uh, units that will handle a number of the dwellings that are quieter, more efficient, uh, much more efficient compared to what's there. One of the most important, important issues that we've heard in regards to this particular building is the trash. Um, we, we've heard from the ZLC that there was an existing barrel that contained some oil. We immediately got that barrel removed. However, I heard that it's reappeared, so we're working on, we're working with the restaurant and trying to come up with some type of solution to eliminate that barrel. Uh, in regards to the trash, we know that there are existing um, dumpsters in that triangular parking lot on Cooper Street. Those are the dumpsters that house uh, all the trash for the residential building, um, which is encompasses every residential unit in there. So they all put their trash in. We understand that it's become a problem, become a nuisance to some of the residents in particular. I know the George Moore property in that area. It is our goal. As of right now, Tachi's Restaurant, as, we have, uh, as you may or may not know, has filed for bankruptcy. In turn, the Michelle Holdings Company cannot touch any property owned by Tetchy's Restaurant. We know it's an issue. We're trying to resolve it. We're trying to work with Tetchy's Restaurant to resolve that, that trash area. Michelle Holdings, just so you know, Michelle Holdings Company bought the property less than about six months ago, December 2010. So we understand that's an issue. So that's an issue that we hope to, uh, to resolve and, and, and create a better quality of life for the, for the residents in that area and make it cleaner. We understand that some of the sidewalks on Cooper Street have become a lot of grease stains, so there's our hope that that's going to be all cleaned up. But right now, we cannot put in a tough position, but we cannot touch any property owned by the Texas restaurant. So you guys just own the second. I'm, I'm kind of confused. There's a whole, I know there's a whole bunch of buildings. There's the street, in the back, you know. Right. Yeah. You own the property that houses the restaurant now? Yes. Okay, so and if the owners of the restaurant are filed bankruptcy. Do you own the property that holds the garbage containers now? That's yes, the, that but, but Tetchy's restaurant owns the, 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 the containers. So you can't 
I know they own the containers, but who owns the property? Can I see those pictures for a second? Can you, you want to take a look at this? Sure. Just get an idea of what we have over there right now. Uh, I mean, bankruptcy or not, it's a big issue. It's an issue of public health. Uh, and it's definitely sanitation. It's been going on forever. And I don't understand how bankruptcy court can keep anybody from keeping that area clean. So I don't know what the issue is, but uh, that's, a, that's, a, that's a matter that definitely needs attention because there are people who live in that area whose buildings have already been developed uh, and there's no reason why those people, any of those people, yeah. that's right across from uh, Stillman Place, that's in the corner, the garbage is placed on the corner of Stillman Place and there's a building right here that's condominiums, that's a, it's a large building that has large condominiums. Uh, all the properties on Stillman Place are, uh, have been redone and we, uh, we, we do. And, uh, I speak for myself, and I speak for everybody else who lives there. That's a, that's a disaster. I mean, it's a full of roads, filthy. The garbage does not get collected. Uh, and I don't understand how bankruptcy court can stop any any landlord from demanding or his tenant of taking care of an issue. And if they're bankrupt and they're not doing business, they don't need to have dumpsters out there with garbage that sits there for seven to ten days at a time. So this is an issue we had before with Mr. Ketchik, which he took with all, all sorts of arrogance at the time. But it's an issue that, you know, as you are coming to ask for permission, support, and approval, and that's a big issue right at that area. I mean, you know, the fact that, in addition to the fact that you're going to construction and all that stuff, no, I, it's understandable, but I mean, that I don't think cleanliness and sanitation has anything to do with bankruptcy court. I'd I, I just like to say that we, we are in agreement with you that the dumpster should be properly taken care of, administered, uh, checked up on time. do have the rights to continue uh, using the space as they have, but uh, sort of, you know, if they... You, but you rent up the space now? Pardon? You rent up the space? They have the rights to access. Okay. We, uh, we currently have tenants moving out of the residential units as well, and they were using this. No, so no, that, that's not, that's not, uh, that's not, uh, I mean, the, 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 the the, the, the majority of the garbage there, I've been there for 15 years. The majority of the garbage there is, is restaurant garbage. It's not tenant garbage. Tenant garbage does not leak like that. This, that's food. It's food waste in, a, in serious amounts. You know? uh, considering the fact that you guys are taking over the first floor of the restaurant, one of the arguments that Mr. Pitcher made in the past that his restaurant was too big and too busy for regular totes that go out every day. You know? uh, his restaurant is not that big, it's not that busy, and it's bankrupt now. So, I mean, there's no need for him to have garbage pickup seven days a week. He could easily have a couple of tourists come out on an nightly basis. Mind you, regardless of the ownership or regardless of the situation of the company, bankruptcy does not mean that the rest of the community is going to live in shambles. Okay? Or, or has to be exposed to, to, to a sanitary connection, uh, uh, condition that could actually, that, that doesn't actually meet anybody's standard and that could actually be remedied simply by having the same company pick up the garbage, but have the garbage picked up on a regular basis and have the garbage towed on their portion of the, you know, on, 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 on the side of the restaurant, uh, you know. So we couldn't agree with you more. And no, but it's not to interrupt you, but with, it's our hope with the elimination of the function hall, hopefully the uh, great I mean, portion of this trash will not will No, not but, but, uh, but, but the yes. portion of the trash will not exist, and Mr. Titch, in the financial situation he may be in, might choose to have one month, once a month pickup, which would right. not do us any better. Absolutely And, and, and the dumpsters don't do us any good, so I mean, don't get me wrong. I, I can see you guys coming up and asking for support. It seems all like a great project, but, it, you know, it would be really key. Well, we have a company that wants to develop um, this particular building and update the residential unit. Sell, sell the portions of those, especially the floor that are going to be remodeled as luxury condominiums. The last we want to see is trash, in, you know, going in the neighborhood, especially the neighbors that have been there. I have some that, you know, when I first got retained uh, to represent the Michelle Holdings company, uh, that's the first thing I mentioned to Mr. Anderson. Hey, we're going to have an issue with these dumpsters and trash. And <coughs> I'm a, a lifelong resident. I know, I know the area. I'm familiar with all the trash that's been there, and it's something that this company is hoping to address. They've been working with the Techie company to try to address it. Right now, from my understanding, talking with um, the, the company, Michelle Owens company, that they're in a catch point too due to the fact that they did file for bankruptcy. Techie has the rights to them, and they cannot touch any resident, any of this prop property. 
in regards to, and just for an example, there was a, a barrel that contained some oil that you probably recognize. It's a, it's a great barrel. Um, and we had trouble just removing that because that was the property of Techie. Somehow it was removed, it reappeared. So but now, I, but, how are we going yeah, to try to resolve it? Yeah, but what I understand here is simple. Okay. I mean, you're in a condition in which you own the property, right? That's a helpful violation. The city gets involved and my bankruptcy court or not, but you need to file for a helpful violation. Yeah. You know? That was and the steps that, step 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 that we would take. Do it as a name, as a community, maybe That's it's not a process. Okay. Well, I understand it's a process, but in the meantime... In process. No, it's in process. Okay, but it, even though it is, it's a process, you know, I mean, I'm sure you're going to have uh, you're going to have plans for that property there too, and you're going to come in front of the neighborhood to ask and see what you're going to do with that small parcel there. I would I would I would recommend that you are as diplomatic as possible when it comes to the issues that have been affecting that area for a very long time, and due to the fact that Mr. Titchis seemed to have a big cloud with the city of Boston, was never been able to be addressed. Well, Mr. Titchis cloud, I guess, is no longer there. Why don't we go ahead and take care of the issue now? So that triangle in a parking lot belongs to Michelle Holden. Yes. It's under use of the restaurant. I mean, right now there's currently 12, and we're adding 4, uh, 16. There's no parking uh, that will be provided. One of the violations is off street parking that we'll be asking the board tomorrow to uh, grant us some relief. The view of this particular building is, as we all know, and the view of the neighborhood is close proximity to everything, especially the Haymarket train station, not, not the station train station, the bus stop. So it is our hope that we're not going to create any additional parking uh, hindrance on this neighborhood. That, right, but we're only talking about four additional units that. But you also um, have a parcel of land that is a parking lot. Right, so, I mean, right. Would you, able, would you be making a parking lot, residential parking for the units as it is demanded from anybody who develops any size property in the North End? I kept 10 or more, you know? I don't know the calculation for that all of this. But I have a question. Um, you said that, the, that, that you own the lot, but you can't touch the dumpsters because the dumpsters are a property of Joe Tetch. Well, it's, it's, it's the, the lot is part of the building. I have to go split parts of but, but you said residents can use the dumpsters. So that's part of the landlord's responsibility then. So you share responsibility under that. Right? So, so if your tenants are using the, your, your residential tenants are using the dumpster for garbage disposal, and your restaurant tenants are using the dumpster for garbage disposal, so you have some responsibility on it. So in a sense, you have shared responsibility with your Texas restaurant. You can say, uh, you know, 50-50 if you wish, you know? That's an issue that needs to be taken care of. Without a doubt, I mean, and, you know, uh, I'm sure there's ways to persuade Mr. Teche, and again, if you are using that dumpster for, 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 for the garbage of your tenants, you have the, 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 the obligation as a landlord to take care of that uh, dumpster. So in a sense, having protection under the bankruptcy, uh, bankruptcy, under the bankruptcy court for Joe Teche because uh, he uses those dumpsters, but you share the, the, the use of those dumpsters, dumpsters with your tenants, you share responsibility with you, so I don't understand okay. how. First of all, I, I don't I don't think bankruptcy uh, gives them protection. <laughs> well, that's what he what that's what was brought up. I mean, that you can't touch those stuff just because you're under bankruptcy. So I don't understand how it is. I mean, I'm a landlord. I can tell my tenants what to put the garbage. What we can tell you, uh, George, is is what uh, Mr. Anderson also already informed. Me. We have taken steps to rectify the situation. We have contacted city officials. Over the work with Tetchy and city officials to resolve this issue. We've had this conversation about three, four years ago with the same issue. And, uh, right, we're still waiting for a solution. And but, you, you know, when Michelle owned this company, just purchased the property. And, you said and, and that's what I'm saying. It's, you purchased the property. Other property. Other I know you haven't, owned, you haven't owned the property very long, but it's just unfortunately you just happen to buy that piece of property where those dumpsters live. And we've had, before George and I were on the council, I sat in a meeting and he, he just. It's frustrating. You know, you figure you got a local guy who owns a, a business and he wants the property around his business to be clean. And well, he tells we, 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 we serve the only we as well. So we understand here. We just want to try to place Mr. Anderson. Yeah, we're, we're in concert with that feeling as residential developers that we want that place. And I'm not even disagreeing that you are. I just, I, I'm trying to just say that that's why we're kind of. 
Did you guys, want to add? No, I was just agreeing with him that dealing with uh, Mr. Tetchy is... No, I know, but Mr. Tetchy is a tenant. No longer has the right of a landlord, so Mr. Tetchy should be able to comply with the, with the rules of the landlord. And again, you did bring it up to our attention that you use that for your current tenants, so you also share responsibility. So I, I'm not telling you that you can actually remove those stuff and stuff, but can you clean the area up in the meantime? I mean, in the interim. Can you can increase you the number of times there? Not, not only will we be trying to do that, uh, putting a valiant effort forward to do that, but we are also going to be looking into decreasing the size of the restaurant. So, you know, the yeah, but waste and what have you will be considered as well. But Before still, any more questions, Mr. Stone, if you finish your presentation, I know I can jump in so. everybody else. Are you, are you? That's fine. Yeah. Okay. I'm sorry, did you just go to I just, I just find it that it's amazing how there's all these incredible giant monsters that we can't take care of. You know, I mean, garbage is an issue. Garbage is an issue. It's, public, it's, public, uh, it's a public health issue. It's a sanitation issue. It's been an issue for years. Okay? Uh, we have new landlords finally at the property, and I don't understand what is the thing to do. This is a white elephant in the room that we can't touch. You know, I, I don't get it. I mean, and, and at the very least, at the very least, you've seen those pictures. Those pictures are current. Those pictures are been taken by people that live in that area in the last uh, week or so. Yeah, well then, you know, you, 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 I don't see where uh, where would be the big fight with Mr. Tetchy if that area gets cleaned up. Okay, you know? so I'm going to ask, um, yeah, if, if, because I think you made a point on the garbage, and I hope people have heard it loud. Yeah. Any other council members have any questions? Anybody? So it's my understanding from previous meetings with, with, with Mr. Tetchy that there's one pickup a week for those dumpsters. They get picked up, they get empty once a week. I'm not entirely sure how often. Once a week they get picked up, sometimes they get Do you, do you, I, I, I mean, is that sure. something you guys control? Day, I mean, even if you pick it up a second time a week. This, and this is an issue that now that we see the concern, we can look into a second pickup or Getting this done because I feel the restaurant in the neighborhood they get they get nights and everybody gets nights seven nights a week is usually the the, the, the rule for restaurants that did not apply for Mr. Tetchy because the rules did not apply to him obviously did not work to his advantage but uh, you know we're no longer talking about Mr. Tetchy he does not own the call the land people and on the other hand too the issue of parking you heard the presentation before by the uh, council on parking we have some serious parking issues you are adding. To a very large community that you'll be doing. So, in a sense, you have a different population living there now. You're going to have a new population. You're going to turn it into condominiums. Usually, property owners own a car. We're talking about the, perhaps the addition of 16 new vehicles. You do have a parcel of land there that can very well accommodate a large part of those. And, you know, I think we should, we should really. Okay. Use yeah, I think we could address the parking and the garbage. Does any other council member have any other comments, questions? Okay, I'm going to open up Nicole. This may be a stupid question, if you will. But the dumpsters, are they rented? And if they're rented, I think the property of the company who owns them rather than Joe Tetchy, rather than Sal Tetchy? They are rented, but they're on Tetchy's property. But it's different. But it's not going to show what the arrangement is. But in terms of the For George's purpose, if. If the dumpster is owned by the company, when the company owned, it's just rented, so what that? Well, Nicole, the, the, that's an answer I, uh, I don't have. And what I'll tell you, it, it, it's a fair question, but what I'll tell you is something that when I spoke with these folks, we knew that trash was an issue. We felt that by create, eliminating the function hall, eventually decreasing the size of the restaurant, will be eliminating a lot of trash in that particular area. Well, I mean, no, I don't, I'm just, I'm just, just for, uh, to answer your question and to, to answer the proposed question. We understand that this is an issue, it's been an issue a long time. Certainly not the fault of, uh, of the, the new owners and the current owners who want to improve the quality of life in that particular area and clean up the, this area. Um, you heard from them today, they know it's an issue, they've taken proactive steps, they've been working with Techies, they contacted city officials, the, it's in the progress as we said, and we'll hope to rectify that issue. Um, as we were told uh, when we went before the ZLC of Nura, there was a barrel that was out there. It was immediately removed and reappeared. Who put it there, how it got there, we don't know. We don't know what it is. I don't think it's the same one. 
but there's another back. They're on top, they understand it's their trasher, they're on top of the trasher. In regards to the parking, as we all know, living in the neighborhood, growing up in the neighborhood, any type of development here in the neighborhood, whether it's adding one unit, two units, there's always off-street parking violations. The neighborhood just doesn't have facilities to park our vehicles. But the beauty is that we're living in the city, especially now that the artery is gone, everybody wants to move in so they can eliminate the, the motor vehicle. So they can walk to work, walk downtown. They can have easy access to the train station, public transportation. This particular location, although it's going to be 16 units ultimately, there are 12 existing units there. So we're, we're adding the, the request is to add four residential units. I don't know how many of those units are sold, how many of those four are going to purchase vehicles. Um, but as I hope, once we decrease the size of the restaurant, like we said, we're committed to decreasing the size of the valet zone and hopefully um, work with city officials and the neighborhood to create as many residential parking spots as possible. Living in the North End, I know if we can get one, it will be a great benefit to the neighborhood. So that's the goal of this particular company for, for the purposes of us today. We're, we're, just at, we're asking for uh, support to change the, the occupancy to eliminate the function hall and create four additional residential units. We do have, we want to work with the neighborhood because ultimately we have in the not set stone yet, but there are plans to, to do more with the existing property that also owned by this particular company. So we know we have more issues to come before the neighborhood to address. And we're trying to be good neighbors and we want to be good neighbors. So with that said, we're hoping that you would support our proposal and we can prove to you that we will be good neighbors. That's it. Thank you for your yeah, uh, yeah, uh, question. Uh, to uh, the issue of Mr. Tidget, what type of uh, agreement you have with Mr. Tidget for this restaurant there? What type of a lease do you have? Does he have a lease? Do you have an extended lease? What's the issue with Mr. Tidget there? How long is he going to be there for? You know, when you bought the building, was there an existing lease that you have to comply by 20 years, 10 years, 5 years? As, 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 as far as. Uh, Current situation, he has the right to use the restaurants, which he has right now. And it looks like a triumph a lot, which is used for value. He has the right to uh, continue to um, use the restaurant or, or, or run the restaurant. Now, um, when we uh, acquired the property, we did not see the bankruptcy coming. Uh, they are operating. Do they have a lease with you? That's my question. I think it could go either way. But do they have a lease with you? Yes. How long is it? It's, it's, they have a right to occupy that space. It's, it's, For how long? Not exactly. It's, it's, it's long. As, 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 as part of the purchase agreement? Okay. Do you put in a month of time that they have the right to operate the restaurant there as a purchase agreement? Just for a point of reference on the garbage issue, because if you have a garbage issue, and we're talking about a five-year issue, we might very well see them look at the garbage for five years, knowing okay. how Mr. Tisha functions. Yeah. Okay. I, I don't know exactly what their plans are, but they have the right to that as a commercial space. For how as long? A commercial space. For how long? Well, as long as they want to operate. So you bought the building as long as they could stay there unlimited. That's that's. Okay. Yeah. Um, Ian. Yeah. 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 As we mentioned before, the DLC there are no plans to add additional food tax. Is there space up there for them? There's space. Just uh, one quick question on the denial letter that was also mentioned. I'm going to use both open space. Open space. Is well, right on. There's both open space um, in, in the, the neighborhood of the, the building code. You need at least 50 square feet of open space per residential unit. Most of the units in the North End always have a violation of use both open space. Um, with that said, unless you want to create balconies.
All in favor, say no. Three, those against.